What's going on, YouTube? I'm in up. I got a quick little tutorial for you guys. We're looking to get into the business of driving forklift, operating forklifts. A lot of people say, well, it's like driving a car. It's certainly not a car. It's a machine. Don't get it twisted. I'll get with you guys in a minute. All right, YouTube. Here it is. This is a big model. Diesel. Uh, we use it to pick up cars, pick up trucks, all of that good stuff. But just like every other forklift, I'm going to show you how simple it is. It's just not like a car at all. But got the same controllers as any other sit down forklift. Steering wheel, emergency, the uh, gears. Now, however, this one has no clutch, but the brake, uh, for some reason, is, is used as a clutch as well, not only for brake. Even though it's only brake and a gas pedal. Don't ask me why. I don't know, but it came like that. Anyway, first things first, you always want to make sure. You know, you do your checkup list, make sure everything is good for you to operate the machine. From the forks, to the tires, to the oils, to the engine area, to the mast, to the gearing, the acceleration, everything, everything. We have a list. This is our list. We uh, usually check it once a week. Um, we check for the hour meter, hydraulic controls, light, head and tail, uh, light warning mast, oil leaks, oil pressure, overhead guard, radiator levels, safety equipment, steering, tires, uh, unusual noises, horn, gauges, fuel level, forks, engine. Sorry guys, on this part I had to mute it because my coworker was accelerating excessively with his machine accelerator so forth and so on not every company is the same in our company this is how it is but to get right into it first thing you want to do for those who have no idea there's no way you're going to be able to start it without the emergency brake so always make sure the emergency brake is on so it'll start right up but if for some reason it was sitting and somebody forgot to put the brakes and the machine hasn't moved or hit anything, you can still turn it on as you would a car pressing the brakes. Nonetheless, it's always safer to have the emergency brake on. Next thing's next. Once you have the machine on, Gonna step on a brake, take the emergency brake off, put the forks up, check the tilt. Wanna see if the side to side work, the up and down, the tilt, everything is good. After everything is good, only thing left to do is front gear. By operating moving your machinery. However, this is not all that goes into it. It takes practice and years of experience are required but you are not to operate a good forklift, especially one of these big ones. However, it is a sit-down, so it applies even to those small sit-downs forklifts and warehouses. Um, if they're actually propane or diesel. But I mean, there you have it. It's a short, quick tutorial. Um, got any questions, ask in the comments. Um, and I'll be sure to get back at you and answer whatever questions you have. This is my daily, this is what I do. I've been doing it for years. Um, 
I started on the small forklifts. Um, I have about two years on this big one. And to me, it's as simple as operating a small one. I guess it's because uh, due to the experience that I um, received when I was operating it and while working it. But until the next one, CXTV, my name Gio, you already know what it is. Any questions, you know what to do. Comment below, share, subscribe. Let's go, man. We're moving forward, we're making this happen. Remember, be blessed. Moving forward, never looking back. Let's go.